What is and how will MeSH improve your research? This presentation is part one about MeSH, which is an acronym for Medical Subject Heading. MeSH was created and is maintained by the United States National Library of Medicine for indexing journal articles and books in the life sciences and to facilitate searching, serving as a thesaurus. Keywords are natural language or ordinary language terms for persons, animals, things, ideas, relationships. Many searches use keywords very successfully because internal translators are often part of search engines. In scholarly or scientific searching, it is often useful to use precise words that are agreed upon in the scholarly or scientific community. Databases include control vocabulary or lists of terms that are used to describe concepts and define search terms for more complete searches. A problem arises, however, that many terms may exist for a single idea. When a researcher is wanting to find articles pertaining to heart stress tests, a more specific search is needed. There are many kinds of stress tests. Some are performed through questionnaires, such as for psychological stress. There are respiratory care stress tests. When searching for stress tests in MeSH, the term exercise test is retrieved, which explains a stress test more narrowly. Looking at exercise test in MeSH, we find echocardiography stress, which will allow us to find articles pertaining to heart stress testing. By using MeSH terms, relevant data is retrieved based on concepts of an article. More than one heading may be used if a single term is not sufficient to describe the major concepts. Subject indexing is familiar to you. When you look at the back of a nonfiction book in its index, there are subject, place, and name terms in the book index. Subject indexing in article databases consists of someone reviewing a journal article letter, editorial, determining its subject content, and describing the content by using headings, descriptors, and keywords. MeSH will help you create better searches by reducing confusion, organizing sources by topics, and combining complex ideas under one term. MeSH helps you retrieve relevant articles and data Relevant data is retrieved based on concepts of an article. Additional topics assigned to an article are used to describe the main topic. MeSH structures in PubMed or from the MeSH web browser will provide research terms. Let's look at the two structures. We are looking at an example of the first structure, the annotated alphabetical listing for echocardiography stress in the PubMed search builder. One can choose the topics or subheadings of interest to formulate a search. A patient is concerned about the medication dobutamine, which causes the heart to beat faster. Looking at the terms under subheadings, we, we see marked by the red arrows adverse effects, and pharmacology, which retrieves some relevant articles. By adding the term dobutamine, I find more specific studies to be reviewed. Here is another example of the first structure, an annotated record in the MeSH browser online. A description of the term is given in the scope note. The second structure that you see here in PubMed looks the same in the MeSH browser. Here are two of the three tree structures available, including the echocardiography stress text in red. 
broader terms to expand a search or above echocardiography stress on the left of the screen. Narrower terms for echocardiography stress are not seen in these examples. Only related terms are shown which are other heart function tests or relating to various types of ultrasonography. Now that you know what medical subject headings are and how they may improve your research from part one, find out where medical subject headings are located in part two recording, which is about two minutes long. Part two, where is MESH used? MESH is used in Medline and PubMed. Medline citations are within PubMed. The MESH database is available from PubMed's homepage providing location and selection of MESH terms, definitions for MESH terms, and more, including PubMed searching for articles. MESH terms are included in most library catalogs. MESH terms are referred to differently in other medical journal electronic resources. Look for a tab within the database, usually not far from the search box. See how different electronic resources refer to the index of terms, which often includes MESH terms. By looking at this chart, we see that EBSCO CINAHL uses the term CINAHL headings, Cochrane Library, Medical Terms, MESH, Psych Articles, Term Finder, and Health Source Consumer Editions Index tab is Thesaurus. Just search the browser of your choice to retrieve the MeSH browser. If wanting to know more, check out the tabs on the website. Now that you know what medical subject headings are, what they do, and where they are located, enjoy your research. <laughs>